Good evening, myself Dr. Mohammad Asif S, a senior interventional cardiologist from METS Superficiality Hospital, Mallepalli. Today, I will be highlighting two important things, whether to go for stenting or bypass or CABG. Stenting means you go through an angiogram, open the artery with placing a stent which is having the medicines slowly which will dissolve over the time but the metal part remains with the vessel. Bypass surgery or CABG means you cut open the chest wall and place the new connections whether with the internal memory artery or you take a veins from the lower limb and give the new connection. So which we have to opt? It's very simple to understand. If there is normally we have three coronary uh, arteries, right coronary artery, left circumflex and left anterior descending artery. If there is a blockage in only one coronary artery, if it is critical, like more than 70%, then we say critical. If less than 70%, only medicines is sufficient. There is no need of stenting, no need of bypass. If it is involving one artery or two arteries, more than 70%, a critical blockage, stent is the best and rapid treatment where the stay of hospital is very less, recovery is very fast, the next day itself patient can walk and do regular activities without any problem. But if there are involvement of three arteries which are very very critical in blockages, suppose there is a osteal disease of left main coronary artery, then the best option in these scenarios if they are diabetic, the bypass will be the best option. Some cases where there are three blockages but easily stentable, then we can do stenting which has got uh, excellent results. With the bypass, the, now we have a latest technologies where the results are very good. Especially those patients who are diabetic, hypertensive, all three arteries are critically blocked. I suggest based on the case basis, you go for a CAPG. Stenting, one artery, two arteries is perfectly fine. Again, in three arteries also, we do regularly stent depending upon the condition of the vessel artery. If three arteries are very simple blockages are there where you can easily place the stent and the long term results are good, then again stenting can be easily done. So this, the treatment part of whether to go for a, a CABG bypass or a stenting is purely depending on the patient condition and the number of blockages in the heart and heart pumping condition also. If heart pumping condition is good, only one artery or two blockages, go for stenting. Three blockages, then you go for the bypass. Suppose along with the three artery blockage, if there is any wall abnormality, then also we should go for bypass or surgery. So it is totally depends on the patient condition and the number of blockages where a cardiologist take a decision on case to case basis. It is not necessary that one patient having a stent three blockages, that patient again another patient three blockages, that also should be placed stent. No. So every patient is different and every patient's treatment is different. So based on the patient condition, based on the angiography report, based on his pumping condition, based on the involvement of the other walls, we will take a call whether the patient should go for stenting or we should go for bypass. So th rule thumb is simple, single artery, two arteries, always the stenting is the best option. Three arteries, very critical blockages, especially involving of the left main, along with any walls, bypass is recommended. Some patients were very elderly, where bypass cannot be performed, or sometimes the patient refuses for bypass, then stenting can be done depending on the conditions. Now we have a lot of latest technologies in stenting and uh, with a very excellent results, long term results of nearly 15 to 20 years, even with the stents, with the latest advanced uh, stents which are available and latest technology where the results are excellent and we do do regular complicated cases with excellent results. Thank you very much. Sir, no question. So uh, my practice area is uh, METS Superficiality Hospital in Malaypalli near Badi Masjid opposite Riyan Hotel where I do my regular practice. I will be available in the evening time. Sir, to timing will you sir? So timings is evening 8 o'clock to 10.30 I am available at the METS Superficiality Hospital in Delhi.